Do you guys know what oversaturation is? Welcome back to the lounge. Woo! Shorter one than usual. <laughs> That was a bit of a weird reaction. Listen, I I've had a long analysis video planned for a while, okay? It's been written for weeks, but it's snowing outside and, and I'm fasting, which also means that I'm going to sleep at like 6 a.m. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm too busy making these excuses to make a long analysis video, okay? Do you know what I was wearing like five minutes ago? A baseball hat indoors. I'm clearly not at my peak performance right now. Recently, there was a LinkedIn post by a recruiter over at Naughty Dog that mentioned that they wanted to hire talent for both some new ideas as well as legacy titles like Uncharted, which kind of confirms some suspicions we've all had and have been rumored for a while, which is Uncharted's not done. There's more than likely going to be more Uncharted games by some studio in some form in the future, which, woo, um, but I, I, I kind of don't want one. <laughs> See, these are the reactions that I'm looking for, thank you. Now, you might be thinking, man, this guy's really not an Uncharted fan, huh? Which, wrong, you weren't thinking that, because if you've been here before, you know that I never shut up about Uncharted, it's in like every video. So what am I doing sitting here talking about how I don't want another Uncharted game? Uncharted is my favorite franchise, Uncharted 4 is my favorite game of all time, this seems pretty out of character, right? Well, the thing is... I've never really wanted another Uncharted game. We've been hearing for years that the series is bound to come back as a remake or a reimagining or a remain characterizing, either from Naughty Dog or with their oversight or maybe from a different studio altogether. But I gotta say, as a massive fan of the series, I kinda wish that they would just leave the franchise alone. To me, Uncharted has become way too linked to Nathan Drake for it to feel right without him, and Nathan's story has been too well bookended for me to see any more of it. Let's say the less likely option happens and we see another game featuring Nathan Drake. In that case, not only would you be following up a story literally called A Thief's End, but you need to either pull on the strings of his marriage again, which would feel forced, disingenuous, and pretty desperate, or you'd have to find a way to separate Nate from these characters in order to reintroduce tension into the relationships, cause with our current cast, you're just gonna have a bunch of people buddying it up with Nate with no ounce of drama or conflict in sight, and that really dampens whatever story you'd probably want to tell. An Uncharted game with Nate in the middle but a total overturn of the supporting cast doesn't sound all that appealing, and of course you could go the prequel route, but with the Uncharted movie already being an alternate history prequel and both 4 and 3 having significant flashback sequences, that also doesn't feel right. I think Nathan Drake's story forwards and backwards has been told, and to continue it either way feels like overkill and might sour the stuff that's come before. So I guess the natural solution is, all right, let's make an Uncharted game without Nathan Drake, but I feel like that poses a whole other chunk of problems that we gotta get to. There have been tons of ideas from both fans and even people who have worked on Uncharted on where to maybe take it next. A story about young Sully was pitched at one point, which, I mean, I love Sully as much as the next guy, but this feels like a primary example of taking a secondary character who is perfect in their role and completely jumping the shark with them and making a whole project based around that person who was never meant to take up that much screen time. What do you mean Finding Dory? I didn't say Finding Dory. Why would you think I'm talking about Finding Dory? There's been fan pitches saying that a story with Sam would be pretty cool, which, uh, would it? And one of the most popular ideas has been to center the next game around Cassie, Nate's daughter, and maybe even have Nate play a Sully-type role, and first of all, that just sounds like a slightly less depressing The Last of Us, and second of all, like all of these pitches, it doesn't really sit right with me. Because with Nathan Drake being so ingrained in what Uncharted is, I feel like you run the risk of either winding up with a watered-down version of Nate as your lead, or you'd feel the need to separate yourself from Nate enough to headline a character who's nothing like him, which I feel like would make it seem unequivocally not like an Uncharted game. You kind lose either way, the Nathan Drake archetype was perfected by, you guessed it, Nathan Drake, and if you either have an off-brand imitation or a complete departure from that, you're probably not gonna match the original games, I'm sorry. And of course, the counter to that point is the Lost Legacy, the small standalone game built off the back of Uncharted 4. It doesn't feature Nate at all and instead centers around Chloe and Nadine, and it's good, it's a good Uncharted game. But, but that's all it is. And also, you know, it's the second worst one if you don't include Golden Abyss, which none of us do, let's be honest. For some reason, Blessing from Kinda Funny keeps saying that this is the best one. He keeps saying that this is better than Uncharted 4, which just pains me every time he says it. But I genuinely think that this is the only person on the planet who has this opinion. I don't think I'm poking the bear with this statement, okay? Listen, Lost Legacy is good, alright? It's, it, but like... 
Uncharted 2 to 4, uh, Lost Legacy, you know? Sure, part of the reason that this game gets brought up less than the others is because it started as DLC and turned into a bit of a spin-off, but I also feel like that's what it needed to be, a one-off side adventure. Because Uncharted isn't like Doctor Who or James Bond where you're always swapping out the main character for an alternate version of him slash herself. It's not like GTA where every game is a brand new unique sandbox that has a million and one things to play with and features new characters each time. And it isn't even like it's treasure hunting cousin Tomb Raider where it feels like the same character and their story can be reimagined every few years. It never set a precedent for that early on like these properties did. Uncharted has been around for what's coming on 15 years now and those 15 years have been all Nathan Drake and one spinoff. Not enough time has passed since the last one which was beloved for a revival to completely clear the slate and start anew but too much time has passed to act like we don't know exactly what this franchise is. Uncharted exists in this very, very unique situation where it's a single player game that still is in recent memory, has been given a perfect send off, and wasn't shut off way too early. Unlike games like Mirror's Edge or Infamous, which also set a precedent for changing its protagonists, I don't feel like Uncharted deserves a second life because it feels like in its current state, there's nothing really to expand on or explore without making the IP a shell of itself. And that's not to mention the fact that a lot of the people who originally were responsible for Uncharted's success most likely won't have a hand in future projects. It's no secret that Naughty Dog as a studio has plenty of turnover, but even the higher-ups, Amy Hennig who helmed the original three games has her own studio now, Justin Richmond who co-directed Uncharted 3 left, Bruce Straley who co-directed Uncharted 2 and 4 also left, and Neil Druckmann who wrote for 2 and co-directed 4 is more than likely working on either another Last of Us game or a new IP or both. A Jason Schreier article from last year if you remember mentioned that Sony Bend was actually working on a new Uncharted game before they asked to do their own thing with that game being supervised by Naughty Dog, and while that particular project probably fell through by now, it sets up the idea that while oversight might be there from the company, their involvement is limited, and even that is without most of the names that made the series what it is. So at the end of the day, we have a game that will most likely not be helmed by Naughty Dog, and even if it is, will be under a completely new team at Naughty Dog, one that either forcefully continues a story that's had a nice bow tied onto it already, or tell a new one that feels vastly different from what we know and love, and most likely one that'll seem like an imitation or a rejection of its iconic main character. Do you see why I'm not over the moon about this? Look, I still have a trust in Sony and Naughty Dog to treat a franchise with this much reverence, with respect and care and good ideas, but I have a hard time wrapping my head around the notion that a new Uncharted game could possibly continue the legacy of a franchise that consistently raised the bar of cinematic adventure games and set a new standard every single time. Like always, when I'm down on an idea, I really hope I'm wrong. To see another Uncharted 2 to 4 level game in this franchise would be incredible. I would be so happy, but right now, I just feel like we don't need another Uncharted game. But, but I mean, if it comes out, I'm still gonna buy it.